Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution where we're doing something a little bit different we're on Isla Sauna and this very well uh, could be the final park we build in Jurassic World Evolution 1 uh, maybe the next series will be campaign mode for Jurassic World Evolution 2 with some chaos theory thrown into it now I removed all the trees in this initial part and I flattened the land here and then everything else kind of is as it is, as it uh, was when you load into the game so um, what I'm going to build effectively is Jurassic Park Isla Sauna and that was a pigeon hitting my window because that's what they do so this initial opening part here is where I will build the guest infrastructure and then we will have a long uh, a big enclosure to enter the park which I will put some uh, hadrosaurs and sauropods and maybe gallimimus and then we will break into a few other large enclosures for carnivores maybe some other herbivore before we come around here and finish it off with a couple of more large enclosures and um, background so i think in this episode we'll put down our entrance point which will is which will be here so the arrival pad will go in this very corner um, then what I am also thinking is if we have the visitor center I was going to say we'll have the visitor center here and then we'll kind of loop it around let's, loo let's use the fancy path this is the part this is your first kind of pour into Jurassic Park East La Sauna I don't know if that's gonna. Is that gonna link? It works. <clears throat> and then we will effectively fill in the jungle around the entry point. And around the Vista Center. Now, obviously, the path is going to go Right, I'm just eyeballing this, so this may look completely horrible. Yeah. Mm. 
So you kind of walk through a little bit of jungle to get to your facilities. So, uh... Ooh, actually, no, we don't want that there. That can be like a flowery area. I might add a rock. Or two. So effectively what I want to do is I want to put the part tour starting here. I plan this all out in my head and then you know I've greatly underestimated the uh, size of sauna because what my initial plan was to do is yes I know thank you so I need to put a hatchery in here And that's the thing, it's because I wanted to put like loads of hotels, loads of this, loads of that, put this out the way into the edge somewhere. We'll get rid of that for now. And uh, it's, it's basically going to be a little bit more difficult than I originally uh, thought. So we will put in... A cheap path because this is for non guest facilities. Have I got a danger? No. There we go. Right, it's not the biggest enclosure, but the thing is, I've got a... This is the only problem I, s I have with, uh... The Jurassic Park kind of... Design of things, because you just can't... I would normally just stick a, a monorail... Well, you know what I would normally do. Monorail track, and then... That would be it. 
connect it up leave it as as that but this is um this isn't the same as that so let's put a little body of water in here few trees I am going to have to put a gate in because I don't have helicopters so so um, operation Pretty much my ranger team's gonna have to go over there. And it's facing the wrong way. Again, I don't use a lot of them, so let's have it facing. I'm not that obstructed. There we go. So I, I effectively can't really leave dinosaurs in here for a large amount of time because they will. Well, some of the big ones anyway, because they will get upset. So we'll put a feeder in there. That's fine. And then the rest of this is going to be guess. So what I will, what I, I've kind of got a plan where I'm going to put this track for the tour. So let's put you there. The other thing I need to do is I need to, okay, I need to test it because I need to see when the bloody, where, which way the car's going to come out from. So I need to test it as well. So I'm just going to connect it to here. This is just going to be a basic, I just want to get an idea of... Right. Is that the way you're always going to go? <clears throat> because I have no... okay. If that's the case, I'll have to put that up to there, and we'll have to start the tour this way. And what I was going to do was not put a knavery in, because I don't want a knavery. Thank you. 
So this is all pretty much me just getting this kinda to a... Point. Now when I say that the uh, the park's can So the park will start here then, so this will effectively be like a large sauropod hadrosaur enclosure and then what I will do here Uh, edit tour track we will go to that point there there we go so we're not don't demolish everything we're not effectively going to get a dinosaur out today I just want to kind of set up the the guest facilities and this general area and then we will look into making enclosures and everything else next time so because <clears throat> this is not what I wanted to do really um because I I was I was thinking what I would do is I would do like a circle of hotels all around each other and then facilities coming off so like one hotel there one hotel there One hotel there and like another one here but it's going to be too close to the and I was going to do like a circle but I can't do a circle even though it would be an ugly circle because my circles completely are terrible ah that'll be okay So it's going to look a little cramped. Why did you do that for? Why?
touch the That's a restroom, okay. That looks really big for a restroom. Just to block the view. <clears throat> so. Yeah, you don't like make a lot of money in uh, Jurassic Park. the cheat cane okay. and we'll leave that and then this one will just do something a little bit different uh, another cut out and maybe more dessert why not so you, you got your kind of your um, safari setup area uh, I was thinking, oh, maybe I should put a fence around it to kind of make it look like it was more protected. But no, nah, well, we won't protect it as much.
just encase it in the jungle. Like a little swimming hole kind of thing. You know what? We will put one species of dinosaur in here. We will put an aviary if we can actually get it to fit, which we can't. Yeah, it won't fit. It's too big. Okay, <laughs> no aviary. Um, I could put a small enclosure in for. Hmm. What? What dinosaurs have we got? Oh, we got all the dinosaurs. But the the main ones are kind of set as uh, the Jurassic Park counterparts. Maybe I will just do like a small enclosure just to So it's just like your first, you know, something small, something harmless, something that just makes you think, oh, how how quaint. Um, colourful um, I think we'll put like a little herd of dryosaur in here to be fair I think that should be alright how many have a large group of them yeah why not let's just do of every colour kind of thing. So that, how many colours are there? <laughs> okay, so we're going to have like 10 dinosaurs in there, which 
you know, they're not massive. We'll have people going around, and then we'll just have to, um, as I say, this, this will be where the main park kind of forms. Unfortunately, I can't really cut into there, so it'll, there'll be a little something something. How are you with yeah so if this is if that's just as big that should be fine so <clears throat> so yeah that, that should be fine um and then this like I'll, what I'll do is this first enclosure will loop around here and take up a, this this well up to about this part and then I'll cut that bit off you know what I'm just gonna have that whole section as a big sauropod hadrosaur maybe Gallimimus enclosure. Did I do? I don't think I did wetland. Sorry, right. I've just got a text message. Oh, vivid. <laughs> oh, disease. I thought I turned off diseases, that's fine. Tranking. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a Dryosaurus to the park. Yes, I know how to do that, thank you. Try in front of you, shoot it. Oop. I've overshot everything. Right in front of you, Paul. Come on. Ah, oh, in the tail. Control reassigned. 
Setting additional task. Confirming task. Right, let's move them into picking up asset. Their enclosure. Collecting asset. We'll rescue the one that's drowning. Acknowledging asset collection request. Heading to collect the asset. Asset collection request received. Commencing asset transit. We will make sure we've got them all before we go too crazy. Yeah, they. Setting additional task. So that's what I like about the second one. Um, if you trank them and you don't move them, they're going to wake up over time. Which is going to be incredibly useful, no problem. especially if if you forget that you've cranked them, or it's just to do what my little thing to do is when they're really uncomfortable and about to break out, just to crank them and then move them back later. So in the next episode, we'll start building this large enclosure, which, as I say, will be just pure uh, herbivore. And then over this side, we'll do some large carnivores, some small carnivores, and uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. I might actually break it up into two sections. Maybe that'll be a sec. That'll be a enclosure, and that would be. So I can have the uh, so I can just have a, a few more herbivores. I might want to do like a Triceratops, Stegosaurus kind of base. That's five, so they're going to get the other five. And with that, I will end this episode on this rainy day. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.